In this lecture, we are going to learn about Hamiltonian cycle problem. Okay. So what's Hamiltonian cycle? First, we will understand the problem. Then we will try to solve this problem using backtracking method. Okay. So first, let's see what's the problem. So Hamiltonian cycle is a round trip path along n edges that visits every vertex once and returns to starting position. Okay. So this is a graph problem. Okay. So you are given a graph with its vertices and edges. Okay. Now it says that, let's say this is the graph. So you have to start at some node. Okay. It's a cycle. So it doesn't matter where you start. Okay. Then you need to traverse all its nodes okay and then come back to the same point okay and there should be n edges so for example hamiltonian cycle for this one is i start at one then go to two node two is covered then from two to eight this is covered eight to seven this node eight seven is covered then seven to six six to five five to four four to three and then three to one Okay, so now you see that I have used how many edges? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 8 edges I used. All the 8 nodes are covered. Okay, and this is an example of Hamiltonian cycle. So now, the thing is, this was a small graph, so you could know. But what happens if you're given to program, write a code to find, given a graph, you need to find the Hamiltonian cycle and what happens if it doesn't exist so the question is always does the Hamiltonian cycle always exist so we will try and see this particular graph okay so we will start from let's say 1 to 2 2 to 3 then 3 to 4 till here it is fine but if we go I need to cover now I have covered 1, 2, 3 and 4. I need to cover 5. But to cover 5, you need to go through again 2. Okay. And then what happens now? I have covered 2 twice. And if you see, every, like this is a node. If you want to cover everything, you have to repeat, come to 2 twice, no 2 twice. So this graph does not have any Hamiltonian cycle. Try to think about it okay so backtracking solution now how will we give some solution so what is state space for the solution let's try to see so given this graph okay let's see we have graph given this one which has four vertices and it has few edges okay so now the thing is let's say that we have n let's try to formally give one proof we have n vertices okay we have n vertices in a graph and let's say i start from x1 okay then i go to x2 x3 x4 till xn then i return back to x1 so because i said that okay it's a cycle so wherever you start so for example 1 2 3 and 4 so if if i start 1 2 3 4 is a cycle 1 2 3 4 1 is a cycle 2 3 4 1 2 is a cycle so wherever you start it's the same cycle so then if we say that okay x1 is 1 always then basically these are the possible permutations of 2 to n is there okay so it means by brute force there are n minus 1 factorial possibilities because these x2 can be 3 x3 can be 5 and so on okay so there are n minus 1 factorial possibilities so Hamiltonian cycle, basically you can try out all these for possibilities and check. Okay. So with backtracking, we will try to generate a solution space and solution space is basically we try to give color. Okay. So let's say not color. We try to say that, okay, X1 is node one. Then if we go to node two, then it is X2 will be two. If then we travel node 5 x3 will be 5 and so on so for example in our previous problem so it has 
eight nodes are there so our x1 if i'm starting from one it is one x2 i'm going to two x3 third node i cover in the cycle is eight fourth node x4 is seven x5 is six x6 is five x seven is four x eight is three and your x9 is again one okay so we have to assign some values like this so let's see with this graph i start from node one so i say that okay x1 is one i'm starting at this is the starting point of cycle next i can go to if i don't see the graph then also there are n minus one nodes where i can go to so these are two three and four but then of course i have to check is there an edge between x1 and the uh, node 1 and the next node i'm traveling to so from 1 in fact i can go to 2 3 and 4 so the possible branchings are 2 3 and 4 okay now the one constraint was that okay no vertex should be repeated in the cycle so each vertex should come only once except the first one which will complete the cycle and then the next one is each vertex is covered each vertex should be covered so now i have covered x1 i have the three possibilities x2 can be 2 3 and 4 here in fact all edges exist 1 to 2 1 to 3 and 1 to 4 now if i take this branch from i have covered node 1 and 2 so i can go to i have to cover two more nodes 3 and 4 okay i can go to these but the thing is from if you have node 2 then i cannot go from node 2 to node 4 okay so this is not possible but in the solution space i have to search this for other graphs if it was like this then i could have searched this also okay so 3 and 4 are the next possibilities for x3 now if you have traveled let's say 1 2 3 your x3 is 3 so finally you have just one node left which is x4 is 4 and there exists a solution and from 4 if x4 is 4 then also your Hamiltonian cycle is not complete because from x4 to x1 you should again have a an edge so if that is there then you say that okay your you have found one Hamiltonian cycle and in fact your graph can have more than one Hamiltonian cycle so from this one one is of course one two three four and one can we find some more so let's say is there something like three two if let's say this was also there okay so it will be three two four one okay so i start three two two to four four to one and one two three so this is also a cycle so it's a hamiltonian cycle so you see so now for this graph it's a complete graph okay every node is connected to other one so now if you see so if i had x1 is equal to one here then let's say let's put some other color which will differentiate so i have x1 is one then i can go to x2 is three so i go from here I go to this place 3 and then what happens now I can go to 2 and 4 so let's say I go to from 3 to 4 so I can go via this path then from 4 I need to so 3 to 4 I go from 4 to 2 I go and then from 2 to 1 if I go all these edges exist then this is an Hamiltonian cycle so you now know that okay how will we branch the thing is now we will not branch if there is not an edge for example if there was no edge let's say this one was not there okay then what would have happened so if, when we were branching out we would not branch in this while doing backtracking okay because this does not exist okay so now let's try to see the code how we try out 